fucking believable if, if he did this was if you had Jimmy Fallon's wife playing that woman and Fallon came out in blackface and, <laughs> and, as the guy tonight. I mean, that, I wanted Fallon to wear blackface tonight so bad. I know. I mean, look, I get it. Like, you don't do that anymore. I totally understand why. It's fucking not cool. It's stupid. Blackface is dumb, okay? I disavow blackface. Disavow. Sure. I feel bad. Again, don't go looking at that Williston yearbook, okay? Uh-oh. That's... It was an Al Jolson, it was an Al Jolson tribute, tribute band. I just, I just right. felt like I was in the moment. I, that, like, I, that's one of those things that even in like, you see that what's his face Northam, that idiot from Virginia, yeah, Ralph Northam. Um, like in like say like ninety one or ninety or something, they were talking thirty years ago. Mm-hmm. If I was a junior in high school, or whatever, and they said, "Hey, let's do this old," like the idea of putting here, like, Minahan, put this hood on, yeah, yeah. Put, put black on your, I'd be like, this is not a good idea. You mean not like the Jimmy Fallon thing, like um, the, the what blackface, like the Al Jolson type, or of any kind? I'd be like, you know what? I, I just even back then, I'd be like, you know what? This probably doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, Mr. The, Geary, the Fallon. Well, yeah. No, I, 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 again, I, but I mean, this like this like going back in time and finding right. it is just in, in apologize. I had a uh, I had a Halloween costume when I was a young. That's boy. right. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember you talked about that before. Yes, but I mean, this guy is. Appall- I I don't understand the apology because no one was coming after him. Well, it was all over so, social media today. Yes, but there was never going to be... Who's the producer of his fucking show? What, is Lauren Michaels going to fire him for a sketch that was on well, SNL the, 20 years ago? No, but here's the other thing, too, is I don't think these... Like, what companies... Are they, no one's around. They're going to bail right now? Like, who's the, <laughs> That's it. Michelob, or whatever, let's just say, is going to bail because Jimmy Fallon 20, 20 years ago? Oh, uh, yeah. 20 years ago was blackface. And I mean, Jimmy Kimmel did it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Which can, is amazing. We can do this. I mean, we, you know, we, he might've th- apologized too. I can't remember. Kimmel. I mean, fine. You want to apologize. I understand why he used to apologize. Fine. I, I didn't even think that's big of a deal. Cause we all know it's bullshit. He's not really sorry. He's doing it to stem the tide. Right. My bigger issue is with the outrage. I, I saw he was trending this morning and there was like 86. I, there's some hashtag to it, right? Uh, yeah, Jimmy Fallon is over party, I think. Something. And there was like 78,000. I was like, holy fuck. Is, did he have like, because, you know, he's been known to bend the elbow yeah. a little bit. So I was like, maybe he did something yeah, he, stupid. He, he during... always has these weird falls. Yeah. And, and he turns some, up in a sling or something. Like, are we getting stories now that he did some stupid shit? And I was like, this is, I mean, you could do that with almost anybody. I mean, really. There's no, there's nothing even, if you take, if you break down what it is, wouldn't it be much weirder if Jimmy Fallon was playing Chris Rock as and, a white guy? Yes. Wouldn't that be bizarre yes. and not make any fucking sense? Also, I'm, didn't they have a white guy playing Obama very Fred recently? Armisen, yeah. yeah. Is he completely white? I don't even know. Fred Armisen is white. Totally white. white as they come, yeah. In, is it, he doesn't have a, he's, okay, I was going to look it up. Yeah, Fred Armisen's white, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, I don't know. It, even talking about like oh he's white great I'm not. pretty w- sure whatever, whatever. <laughs> now you got me questioning super talented <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whether I need to be angry or not yes. <laughs> um, yeah I mean and I'm gonna guess that Chris Rock's not that upset about it just, oh, a, just a wild no. guess I'm gonna guess he's not offended at all by it I don't think Carl Malone is offended by no, Jimmy Kimmel no I would say probably not and it's also like you're purposely making your like you're making mocking yourself too. Like it's like a it's fucking satire. Of course, it's just such a. I mean, we and you, you know, you've been saying this for a while, and and you know, I'm with my man uh, Ted on this one, because I remember you were you've been saying, you know, it's maybe this will be some sign that people are gonna. Yeah. You, nope, no nope. people are what they fucking are. They always. I, I'm actually surprised it hasn't gone the other way because people are so bored. I thought that at first, yeah. and then I was like, it's, "No, maybe there's some serious shit going on, so people are ignoring the little petty stuff." I, don't know, I think that's kind of what we're seeing, like with this this crazy uh, bird lady in the in the park, yeah, or the, the one with her dog. I think part of it is how bored people are looking for something to laugh. Well, I think onto. suddenly, but Mike's right; it was it was dormant for a while, yeah. And now all of a sudden, it's like maybe it's because things are a little. I, yeah, who knows? Well, the pandemic just, was real enough for or it they're not just to so be, bored three months in or whatever. Yeah. Like, all right, let's start fucking with people. Yeah, because I mean, well, the pandemic doesn't feel as real now. Like right. everyone's going back outside, I mean, so yeah. Because like. You can now go back and play and find like old, I mean, he's a comedian, you can find old jokes now. Got like a Fallon. In 2000, while on SNL, this tweet, what an asshole. He said, oh, what was the phrase he used? I made a terrible Undeniably. decision to the impersonation of Chris Rock while in blackface. There's no excuse for this. Well, actually, there is. It's a comedy show, right, and Chris Rock is black. I don't, you know. There's no. That, what was the excuse at the time, Jimmy? It was aired on NBC. <laughs> it got through all the fucking censors. It got through Lauren Michaels. All the writers agreed to it. And by the way, it's not. It's like it was his decision. <laughs> no, of course not. I am very sorry for making this unquestionably offensive decision, and thank all of you for holding me accountable. You pandering <laughs> fuckwad. Thank, oh, thank you for holding me accountable. I thought, oh, that's that's pathetic. That's pathetic. Completely. And you know. The other thing is, it's one of the few segments that he didn't ruin by laughing through. <laughs> yeah, he's been fucking terrible on that show. And when he did skits, fucking terrible. Well, Fal- I, I was, I, 
kind of hate Fallon because he turned... I, I guess he did The Tonight Show the right way. It had to change in some way for social media and all that shit because no one was watching otherwise. But he took a show that used to make comedians... I mean, Leno didn't really, but Carson fucking made oh, comedians' sure. careers. And he turned it into... Wouldn't it be crazy if Jennifer Lawrence and Betty White played Flip Cup? Oh, so <laughs> It's so just awful. a fucking horrible place for comedy but be like, I, don't, I know this is double standard all the time but like i would never want eddie murphy to apologize for being mr white 